Okay, hello everyone, Josh Weber here with Big Red Jelly, just another industry insight short video where we help, um, at least attempt to help you brand, build, and grow your business by sharing some helpful insights, tips, and advice that we've learned in the industry. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Today's video is gonna be started with a very interesting and important quote by Gary Vaynerchuk himself. It's important to build a personal brand because it's the only thing you're going to have. Your reputation online and the new business world is pretty much the game. So you've got to be a good person, you can't hide anything, and more importantly, you've got to be out there at some level. So you've guessed it, today's video is about personal branding, but I wanna take it in a slightly different level. So if you're a small business owner, in fact, if you are any type of business owner, I think one of the most important mechanisms that you can tap into for marketing, sales, and your own company brand is to tap into the personal brands of your employees, your leaders, your stakeholders, etc. Let me go through some very interesting facts that I actually pulled from Business Insider back in 2020. So sales agents who use social media as part of their sales technique outsell 78% of their peers. Fairly obvious. 77% of consumers are more likely to buy from a company when they hear about it from someone they trust. Employees have 10 times more followers than their corporate social media accounts. This one sounds almost unbelievable, but if you really sit down and think about it, it is believable. Because I know when you're thinking about corporate, you're thinking about big brands, Coca-Cola, Nike, you think, well, that's impossible. They have tens of millions of followers. But think about the vast majority of corporations out there. Maybe they have a decent followership, but think about all their employees and each of their followership, right? Um, I mean, maybe on average, there's an employee who has 800 Facebook friends, maybe 500 um, LinkedIn connections, and maybe they have an Instagram too where they have 300 to 500 followers there. Calculate that across the board and you'll see just the potential reach through personal brands, right? Uh, content shared by employees receive eight times more engagement than content shared by brand channels. This one is particularly important. I want you to picture, for example, um, you're on Facebook and you get another one of those ads, right? You get ads of some shoes. Maybe you were interested in buying some shoes. Maybe it's interesting to you, depending on the brand and the style and the exact shoe that you're looking at. But let's pretend now that you are looking at your timeline, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or any social media platform, and one of your best friends just bought a nice pair of shoes and took a funny picture or a photo showing off their shoes. Which one of those are you more likely to actually put your cursor over the like or the comment button and click? Is it the generic ad by Nike or Adidas? Or is it your friend's pick where it's authentic, right? Look at the production value of each one, right? One company probably spent millions, tens of thousands of dollars producing that image where one of them took five seconds to take a quick picture, yet one of them gets more engagement. So again, the power of authenticity and personal brand here is um, is is quite important. Okay, brand messages are reshared 25, 24 times more frequently when distributed by employees versus their company. Uh, what's more, people with established personal brands also outsell their peers and have much higher conversion rates. The term personal branding has long been relegated to companies, but in this digital age, everyone has a personal brand. Choose to develop and cultivate your brand. All right, so in short, my challenge to you is to not only just invite your employees or your team members to, hey, elevate your personal brand, but rather to incentivize your team to get active on social media profiles, provide incentives. Like for example, here at Big Red Jelly, um, we do a friendly competition every quarter where uh, whoever gets the most engagement on LinkedIn gets some type of prize, whether it be a $100 gift card to Amazon or free dinner. And it really turns into this fun, viral, competitive atmosphere where we want to not only show off our personal brands and get the most engagement on a professional platform like LinkedIn, but also just boast about our company, Big Red Jelly. And it really can become that type of fun competition and it benefits them personally as professionals as well. So it's not always possible to you know, produce and, and force your employees to share business related content on their profiles, but I think it should definitely be brought up regularly. It should be incentivized and you will see exponential benefit. We have certainly seen that here at Big Red Jelly where we'll post as a company, of course, across these platforms, we'll try to share the most captivating content that we can. But once we got our team to buy in and just get somewhat involved, or we share content on our company profiles that our employees want to reshare, 
that's key too, right? Ask yourself this question. If your employees or team members or founders aren't resharing some of your content, guess what? You're probably sharing the wrong content. So make it stuff that people actually are proud of, want to share, want to put in front of their friends, families, and colleagues and be proud of, and you will see exponential growth for your marketing, your brand, your content marketing, and potentially new leads, therefore increasing your bottom line. Thanks again, you guys, and tune in next week.